Hi, this video presents the basic working principle of a spectrometer. It is used to study wavelengths in the visible range of the spectrum, which means from violet up to red. You can see in the sketch that the red has the longest wavelength and the violet wave has the shortest wavelength. The spectrometer consists of around four parts. The starting point is a collimator which collects the incoming beam of light, makes it parallel and focuses that on a prism. The prism does the job of refraction and after the refraction is done at the other end you have a telescope which is shown as a tube which moves on a circular scale and it can move at that angle to catch the red wave or catch the violet wave and it covers the full range and the telescope always is perpendicular to the direction in which the wave is traveling. The prism table uh, is the table on which the prism is fixed accurately and which doesn't move. Now, if we shoot a beam uh, in a certain plane, the refraction also happens in the same plane, as you can see in this animation. So it's important to line up the telescope on the circular scale as well as the collimator very perfectly. This is done using vernier calipers and adjusting screws which are not of course shown in the animation but if you look through the telescope now you can see the colors perfectly. So the adjustment should be good enough to see the wavelengths coming in. Having studied the adjustment uh, aspect of it uh, it's important to see what we can do with the spectrometer. So if the prism had a different angle then the refraction angle will be different. So by noting down the angle at which we move the telescope we can make deductions about the prism itself. So this is an animation to show how the telescope is adjusted along that circular scale. If you want to measure the angle of deviation, which is a bending of the refracted rays of light with respect to the original ray of light, this is how you do it. The white light came in at a particular angle and the red wavelength re got refracted at another angle. So the total angle of deviation can be measured by extending that line and that job is done by the telescope and the angle measurements on the telescope. The applications of the spectrometer are mentioned in this slide. Uh, as I said, you can find the angle of a prism, you can find the angle of minimum deviation and you can also study the refractive index of glass or different material uh, and you can experiment with different wavelengths. I hope uh, this uh, video was useful to understand the basic principle of the spectrometer. Thank you and bye-bye.